Well, guys, we're right in the middle of a pour. We're doing a. Uh, here's what. Let me show you what the plan's gonna look like. See that drawing right there? That's what the drawing's supposed to look like. I mean, the drawing. <laughs> That's what the, the finished product is supposed to look like. So we're gonna do a, a nice uh, water slide with the waterfall and everything like there. So we're gonna do the base. So here we're setting up the base. Vertical mix. Vertical mix. A lot of guys have their own mixes. They have some really nice mixes and they do some really good carving. You don't have that luxury. <clears throat> this thing will be just. It'll be iron here in a little bit. It's going to be set up really quick. We got 90 degrees out today, and this thing here has to be carved. Uh, we're going to do this a big wall down there. It's going to be about nine, ten foot wall. It's going to come up from there, all out of the same mix. This stuff goes 3280 in 24 hours, and uh, we've done our we've done core tests on this stuff. So our product with that humectant in there, it's drawing water into itself. Everybody always wondered, oh, what's that secret sauce you got, Dave? Anybody can do that. I got this other chemical. Look, use it, do whatever you guys gotta do. I don't really care. I do care <clears throat> that when we get great ratings out of this, the, you know, the strength in the concrete, it makes a big difference. That's why you have less walls cracking and that type of thing. So, can you do this without our wall builder? I think you can, you stack it up. You're not gonna be able to work it as much. You're not gonna get the core ratings as we get the strength, what you really want, especially since this is grout mix. That's what you want. You really, if you use rock in it, of course, you're not gonna be able to carve it because you got all the rocks in there. It just won't get a good, look what I can do with this. So that's why we use that. It's gonna be stronger. It adds 8% air entrainment. That's the difference right there. If you pour any other way, you're gonna, they're only gonna do about 2% air entrainment. So 8%, how do you get 8%? Well, you have a product that's a humectant. It means that it's hydroscopic, meaning that it's drawing water into itself continually. You know, if you pour a pool, you, even a dry pool, you gotta put water in it. If you pour a pad, you're gonna get nine per, average 9% shrinkage on a pad to pour it at about a five or six inch slump. So if you're pouring uh, this stuff that's dry here, you're not gonna get much shrinkage, but more than that is you have water hydrating all the time. Where? Out of the atmosphere, into this. Because that product continually pulls and draws water in there, which makes it just stupid strong. And it also gives me more time, even those things should be setting up, uh, right now, so I gotta start carving it. Time it takes you to set up all the rebar and then put your base and then put your outside and then carve it. It just takes a long, long time, long drawn out with the panels. We'll have that grotto, the slide, the tree and everything done here. Uh, with everybody on it, you can finish this thing in less than a week. Uh, I'd say about a week. So, <laughs> I mean, everybody else I see that doing carving, they're taking days and, well days, I say more like months to try to finish up their things, which is all right. They do great jobs. Uh, I just think there's a balance between making money and, uh, you know, sometimes you gotta charge too much, but if you can keep it very affordable, make some money on it and do a great job. There's the balance right there and that's what I try to achieve. Victor, this is Victor. Comes from Mexico. He, uh, he, he loves red chili and green chili and he loves to work hard. Yeah, we're ready to make it the wall. He's ready <laughs> to make it the wall. Good to see you here. You notice, I noticed you've been like pumping up. Uh, yeah, people have been calling me Little Dave for a little too long. So, uh, he, he's tired to, of that. Had to do something. He's all done with that. It's all over now. So tell me what's up. Yeah, uh, I don't know. We haven't really worked out any of the details yet, but we're, the plan is we're going to have a lot more fun while doing this and uh, bring some personality to it for that. I bet there are a lot of people that would absolutely love to see a giant bucket of Gatorade they dumped on Dave on Tori's head. So, Did you get bring a check? Hmm? But look at the nasty cuts underneath here. Carving panels on the side to make the sides of the, you know, kind of a rail for the uh, steps to go up. But everything's already quite cool. Look at that. Nice tops.
Right like that. It's almost, what is this, about nine foot tall, guys? I'd say roughly, yeah. It's about nine foot tall. So nine foot tall straight down from up there all the way up to here. Look how thick that is. That thing is just, you know, engineer's dream, actually. So, did the whole thing, finished it up. But now we have that bench coming out. We're gonna make it all look like rock also. But we kind of made it round like that so you can see because we can have like a cozy area where the fireplace is going to be. What I'm going to do though, is I'm going to make a bench down there. I wanted to do a fire pit bench. But I don't think it goes with all the rock. I think we need to do like a, uh, a rock fire pit. So I think we can do, what do you think, rock fire pit or, or, uh, or uh, uh, tree stump, guys? What do you think that do, a rock, rock fire pit then? That wall going like that kind of cozies it up. Uh, that we can put the winding staircase to here, fire pit right in the middle of it. When we get more concrete, we'll do a nice big boulder on the edge, on the back side to make it look like that. You can actually put a planter inside the back of that. So here's that right there, right in the middle of all the rock. We can soften it up with some plants and stuff like that. What's nice about what we do is that, you know, it's done just a little at a time. I mean, if we, if we, if we, it's, it's come almost improv, you know, almost improv. We look and we say, okay, we want this to take shape. Now here's my, here's my thing. Here's the question. We have, that's gonna be a nice round there like that. I'm gonna put a big boulder on the back, and I think I'm gonna take it back like that and leave a planter in back there yep. so you can soften this up a little bit. Yep. Good? All right, yep. cool. Now, here's the other thing. We were gonna do the tree stump fire pit in the middle. I think we ought to do a rock, a ledge looking fire pit. Like a big rock okay. instead. I don't know, isn't that just a lot of rock? Of course it is. It's a container wall. I know, but. I mean, it looked nice. I mean, it's just, that's me. If it was me, that's what I would do. So, I'll call chances in anyway. Give him a call. So, is this going to be, is the bench going to be on the side of the stairs? Huh? Is the bench going to be on the side of the stairs? The, the cliff bench and like that. So, to have a tree stump fire pit, I think it would be better to have a rock style type of a, a fire pit coming up out of it. Like that. A little creative. Okay. I'm right? Creative. I'll see you later. Okay. You good? Right, give, me, give me that warm fuzzy feeling. Good. You can give me that warm fuzzy no, no, you. Oh, I'm fine with it. He's okay, the good, one who good, needs good. things to an right. of an inch. There you go. No, no. You're going to be good. Everything from the ground up to the finished work, every time you make a mark, it's just, it's beautiful. You step back and you look and you're like, wow. This is, is a different skill trait that you gotta kind of compliment and figure out, so. It's honestly just beautiful. I love it. And the, and the bench. We gotta finish the rail down here. But uh, I went up there and said, listen, you need a waterfall here, don't you? you know? So, a little extra and a nice waterfall, and here we are. And we'll, we'll be done with this thing within the same day. So now we got the wall, the bench, everything done well, within the same day. All we're gonna do is put some panels on this, return the pipe, and this party's a done deal. You make up your own thing. That's what makes it cool. The more you go, the more you get at it. It's pretty sweet. It's that place. We'll color it, have the water in the thing before noon, and that's it. Two days. And not because it was a bunch of guys. This is a training class. So it's not like we need a bunch of guys. We could do it with three, four guys. The difference is, is that we're training. They're able to see the whole thing. You could do it with a four-man crew. Well, great. It's almost what? Eight feet, almost could be nine with the extra foot there. Yeah, so almost nine feet with everything. We got most of this stacked in. up with the bobcat. We got it pretty much where we needed it to be. Yeah. We started carving it. Yeah. Another day, man. It's another day in paradise. We got the thing is, they find that there's there's no mission left. You know, so. they go to war. They got all that, you know, mission, all that thing in front of them. That big job. That got to go get it. Got to make it happen. You know, kill, kill, kill. It's all in the way. It's got to get done. It's got to get done. And they come home and it's like. 
well, you know, do this, do that. There's no mission. There's no significance. No, no purpose. Passion. Yeah. So, I mean, you give a you give a bunch of veterans something like this, you know, you give them a mission, you give them a picture and say, look, this is our objective. This is what has to happen today. we got to get these trucks forward. we got to get this job done. You give it to them, it, it gives them something to knock out. It gives them something good, man. I think that's really cool that you're doing that for the best. the bench with the fire pit with the whole thing coming up here we got this panels going in here because we're gonna have a rock we want a different rock looking kind of like it's propping out of here we'll have the reservoir on there water falling right off of that and making a beautiful waterfall we try to have this thing running today that'd be nice so that's where we're at with this up on the top let's go up here and see what we're doing Here we are at the top of the slide that we made. The steps and the GFRC that makes them as well as the slide. It's like a massive rock feature. We got a slide and waterfall on the other side. We got a, this right here, which is my favorite. I love this tree. And it's a tree slide. You get up on here, you got the tree up here, the rope, you haven't put the rope on it. The rope goes on here, it's incredibly strong. This thing is this, and then you put an elephant on the end of it. It is so strong. Our panel mix is the star. Easy investment to get involved, and boy, when you can do this stuff like that and bring this to your customers, what a great advantage that you have. Waterfalls, grottos, all kinds of good stuff. The frog product, grottos, trees, slides, everything. Look, even those pillars are made out of that. It's awesome. So find us on the web at www.cliffrock.com. 
Go to YouTube, look up Cliff Rock, see all the videos, and see all the magic we do with this panel system.